Are women's bottoms different to men's bottoms? I think so. Are they? Yeah. Uh, now, that's nearly the end of the news, but before we conclude, I need to say something, actually. I'm sure a lot of you saw the Patagonia special, and I want to admit, here and now, in front of everybody, I made a terrible, terrible mistake. Uh, nobody knows I'm going to do this, not the producers, nobody. But I want to get it off my chest now. Um, uh, right in the middle of the programme, I said that the condor is the largest flying bird in the world. <laughs> it isn't. It's the wandering albatross, and I'm deeply, deeply sorry. Oh, well, don't forget that out of your chest. Well, uh, you feel better? It's nice to have it out in the open. I feel better. If you make a mistake... Oh! Ooh. Ow! Ah, I've got to do something about my bottom. This is really uncomfortable. So, we stopped at a bicycle shop where apparently you can buy special creams. Are these all to rub onto your bits? Yes. Yes, they are. Is Shammy that normal? Cream. Yeah, they even have one for women. Are women's bottoms different to men's bottoms? I think so. Are they? Yeah. Ah, it's magnificent. Morning. Special. Man. Nice. Yeah, I'd say. Bloody hell. I know. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, not good for you, I'm afraid, Hammond. I've got some medical research here. That racing saddle will put between 25 and 40% of your body weight on your perineum, which is the bit of you between your, your anus and your scrotum. And as a result, blood oxygen levels in surrounding areas will drop by 80%. What are you saying? I've, I just, I, medical advice, cycling is good for you. It's healthy. Wrong, it gets your wrong, lungs working, wrong. None impact. Totally wrong. Good for your cardiovascular system, See? bad for your chap. My what? Your chap. Uh, look, honestly, listen to this. Cyclists aged over 40 are considered at greater risk of erectile dysfunction. Isn't yes, it? yes, thank you, Dr. Clarkson. That's fascinating. What about the stig? I was on this thing for two days. Two days. By the time we finished, my sausage looked like <laughs> a beaver's tail. <laughs> right. Um, is it expensive? What, my sausage? No. <laughs> The, the thing. Oh, the thing, yes. It's £26,000. You know, in a village like this, it really is possible they don't know the West exists. They'll never have seen faces like that. No. I'm amazed they're not more amazed. I think it's a cultural thing. It's just it would be rude to show it. Yeah. It's sort of... I mean, mean, polite. Definitely the first white faces they've ever seen. Yeah. This made everything worse. Oh! Have you ever put toothpaste on your testicles for a joke? Well, to be really honest, yes, I did when yes. I was a teenager. Yes, exactly. So did I. Do you remember the pain? Yeah, I do. Yeah, well... <laughs> Is that what it's like? Yes. Hammond! Hammond! <laughs> it's broken my headlights, <laughs> radiator, <laughs> my ball bar's <laughs> broken. I couldn't see you in the mirror. I now know well, you why... just reverse and hope. Oh. Where did you think I was? All day, I have been behind you. I didn't you. think you were that close Unable to get... I now know why they have those stickers for Lorigans. If you can't see my mirrors, I can't see you. But, no, hang on. You do get a lot of health and safety warning notices for that. This is my favourite down here. It's war warning about what you have to wear, and it says... Hang on. Uh, hang on. Normal swimwear does not adequately protect against forceful water entry into rectum or vagina. <laughs> he's not making that up. It, he's actually, it's, it, says, it says vagina on it. <laughs> he held me up all day, then he reversed into me. So I think tonight Hammond's other wrist might break. However, when I reached the overnight halt, I came up with a more fiendish idea. An idea that involved the bucket Hammond had fitted to collect rainwater for his shower. I think this... Mm. This does pay him back for holding us up all day long. Yep. Oh, there's more. Mm. Part two. Ah. I then began to work on my lorry's waterworks. Massive nuts holding that radiator on. 22 millimetres. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's actually warm. Sun warm, fresh rainwater. Golden rain. I can taste 
And neither of you two thought of the music.